Just give that a few minutes to pop up. We are live there. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Fierce Awakened Woman 2022 Creativity Jam, where we are sharing ideas of how we can create creativity practices, how we can inspire each other to move and make and muse and just get into creative meditative flow. You've heard me say this before, I'm Jen Balgo, the host and creator of the Fierce Awakened Woman Global Online Conference and founder of Always On My Way. And I am so excited you're here today. I have a great session with Melissa. Let me just say hi to Melissa. Hi, Jen. Well, hi, everybody. So before we dive in, and Melissa's going to take us on this beautiful crafting journey today, as we're doing with every session this weekend, just allow all of your energy to roll back to here. Maybe you were thinking about work this morning. Maybe you were thinking about being in the other sessions earlier in the day. Maybe you're thinking about tonight and tomorrow and what you're doing this weekend. Maybe... Yeah, there's life and distractions and noise outside. Allowing it all to be present. Rolling back in all of your attention. We really want to soak in each speaker's flavor of joy and their creative practices and see how we can bring it back into our own lives. So be open and willing to receive information today. Know that there's going to be an ebb and flow as we move through all the sessions. One session you might feel tired. Next session you might feel energized. You might feel vitality and exhaustion. Just let it all be here. And when we're facing these moments of um, you know, feeling a little bit down or not sure what emotion and feelings coming up, just know that we're all connected right now. We did an opening ceremony this morning. This space is safe and connected. And the idea is to serve each other with the idea of elevating each other, even when we're feeling a little bit um, not sure what we're feeling. So let's create that light and love in every session. And um, as you're signing in, if you want to put in the chat where you're calling in from, let me tell you a little bit about Melissa. And then we're going to launch in. So we are a global community. Uh, we have some folks around Europe and Africa in, in uh, the Emirates right now. I know we have folks in Canada. North America's waking up. So just introduce yourself and say hello in the group, which is always fun. And I'm frozen. Now you're okay, you were. <laughs> the joys of Zoom. <laughs> oh my goodness, can you hear me? Is it now, yes. That's cutting a bit. It cut again, but. No, it's okay. It seems good now. <laughs> All right. Let's just, let's just go with it and just keep me posted if we're doing anything. So Melissa Mitchell was the head of the event team for a huge Montreal video game company for many years. By 2014, she was burned out and experiencing chronic migraine pain. The pain forced her to take disability leave. And during her leave, Melissa dedicated herself to the deep work of listening to her body. 
Now, as she transitions into being an entrepreneur, she shares the, vis the wisdom and vision and sparkles of light and joy with women who experience health conditions. She offers creative and safe spaces that allow women to replenish, rebuild their resiliency and fuel their energy and joy reservoir. Her mission is to put the focus back on life through connection with one's intuition. And just a quick way where you can find her, she is very active now on Facebook with Espas M. Parmelissa uh, Mitchell. It's in French. So Melissa, can you say it? Can you say it so that people hear yeah. it? <laughs> it's Espas M. Parmelissa Mitchell. Yeah, thank you. My French is not so good. Okay. Welcome, Melissa. Nice to see thank you. Thank you. Thank you for having me, Jen. I'm uh, very happy to be here with you all. Thank you for saying yeah. yes. It's always a, you know, mm. yes. Where are you taking us today? Tell us where we're going in your creative planting the seeds journey today. Yes. Yes, today uh, we are going to, uh, to retake the time to see intuitively uh, what are the seeds we want to, to water in the, the next few months and to see grow in our lives. So what are the intentions that we want to focus on on our lives? What, what do we need? What do we love? Um, and you don't have to think about it. You see it's going to come as you create and at the end you're going to see everything and see a global message uh, around it so i won't be too specific on the how you know it can be for you in painting and writing for me i think it's going to be in a collage uh, because i find that the images we find in the magazines are really um speaking loud and when you assemble them Sometimes it just gives something completely different. So I really like that language uh, to play with the uh, intuition, to, to play with the uh, co with collage and the images and just see what comes up without thinking, just like ripping the page apart and then assembling everything together. And then you have kind of your answers popping up. Well, and I love that you're doing collage work. I know that, um, see these beautiful collages that Melissa's made in her background? This is... Yeah. She is the, the queen of collage. Uh, <laughs> um, how, how did you land on collage as uh, a way of creative expression? Hmm. But I think it started with like the, um, I'm not an artist, so the, I didn't have the, uh, the talent to portray what I, I intended to, to let on the sheet with the, um, with, with pencils or with uh, with paint or so, it was not satisfying. It, it could not transmit what I was feeling. So I went into a magazine and, and then I was like blown away by the magic that happens when you just take the images and the words that speaks to you and you don't know why, and then you cut them again and then it assembles in something really different and it's kind of, it transforms and it really speaks, it really speaks to my, to my intuition, to my soul. So it's really the language. It's like a, a language for me. <laughs> Collage is like a language for me and I get a lot out of it. And um, I just turned around one that I made uh, this uh, winter when I was feeling really low um, with a chronic pain. I, I have chronic pain and chronic anxiety also. So sometimes it's really hard. And it's a way also to express the hard feeling. And um, I was sick of uh, seeing that collage. So, okay, I want to turn it up uh, because I'm using both sides to <laughs> save space sometimes. So I was, okay, it's time to, to move it. And I'm going to do a new one today. Uh, it's a new season. I want to really like plant the seeds for the next few months That's and right. harvest them <laughs> in the fall and see what, what bloom. Yeah, uh, that's and I, I wanted to acknowledge that that this you know that you do have chronic pain and that and and this is your creative outlet is a way to mitigate some of the pain right this is you know you and I have talked about some of that in the past and um, what you were just saying though about the movement like this came up in the earlier session with Olivia about uh, this nourishment that comes as movement and we can use our creativity as a healing way of connecting, well, nourishing and healing sort of our own vitality. So, uh, you know, 
I know you and I have had that experience and we, we align on that with just getting our hands into things and moving our bodies and just moving with the movement of creativity. Are you doing any other practices now that, um, that are helping you release some of the pain? You come um, yeah, I, li I like doing it with movements. I've done a couple sessions uh, with you uh, with the fan uh, movement. I, I, I know you're doing it uh, later today. Yes. So I'm going to attend this for yeah, sure. Really. So I really like yeah, I really like moving through it. And uh, also meditation, walking, uh, dancing is a good way for me. Uh, but writing, I write a lot also. Yeah, yeah. sometimes you feel that you just repeat yourself, but it's, <laughs> it gets out of your head anyway. <laughs> Rep well, repetition in good ways too sometimes, yeah. right? Sometimes if we, if, we rep if we repeat the gratitude part, you know, that's also as empowering as repeating the yeah your part maybe yeah and you see if you if you try today uh, with collage you see that it's like a no another part of the brain that is working you know it's like it's it's cut off the the mental stuff and you have access to something else to something deeper when you really plunge into it yeah are we ready to start yes uh, we are ready yeah, so we're gonna start with yeah and what we are we gonna do anything we need to talk about first before that? yeah but just the, the way we're going to work is we're going to go in through a meditation. And after that, uh, Jen's going to put some music and you're going to have time to create and really like do what feels good for you and the size that feels good for you. <laughs> and after that, we're going to all come back together and share a bit in the chat. Uh, maybe the words that came that summarized your intentions for the the next few months and, and don't worry if now you are like I don't know what it is it's okay you don't have to know it now <laughs> something inside of you knows and we're gonna discover it together all right go ahead Melissa I'm gonna remove my spotlights you have the full screen for the meditation practice and then I'll come back when you're ready to um the crafting uh just a note I I will be working on my little crafting thing kind of here but I my, you know, I'm going to be here for you guys first, and then I'll do my crafting stuff later. So just so you know that. Um, all right, go ahead, Melissa. Okay. Mm, so I invite you all to just take the time to, to ground yourself. So take the time to be really sitting in your chair. Put your feet on the ground. Your hands on your thighs. Just take the time to breathe deeper, bring longer relations, and really bring the respiration in the belly. You can put one hand on the belly, one hand on the heart. Mm, take deep breaths. Take the time to arrive here and now. And to feel what is bubbling inside of you. Is it excitement? Is it fear, sadness, joy? Everything is okay. We're going to play with this. We're going to transform it. And I'm going to continue speaking while you keep on breathing deeply. And give you some ideas to start. Planting the seeds. This is the time of the year when we do that. We plant new plants, vegetables, and we watch them grow throughout the summer. And we harvest them in the fall. Some of them won't be as big or beautiful as we thought. We have to be careful to take off the weed also that can 
take all the place in our garden. So maybe in your creation, you want to do that. Maybe start your work to just let out everything that is a burden for you and make it the compass for your soul. Soil, sorry for the English. Yeah, it's going to enrich the, the herd. Maybe you are full of joy and you want to like already visualize the flowers full bloom. And maybe this is gonna what's gonna show up in your creation. Maybe you want to work small or big. Follow your intuition in this. Just gonna plant a seed right now. And this seed's gonna be the intention for today. The intention for just connecting to your intuition, to what you are attracted to. Maybe it's just going to be colors. Maybe all you want to do is put colors on a on a sheet of paper. And maybe you're going to have the words after. Everything is good. Everything is good. If you want to go into college, I really suggest that you don't think about it. You just rip the, the, the pages that attracts you. And after, you're going to refine it, cut it in smaller pieces, really see what attracts you and assemble it. going to have like about 30 minutes to create. Okay. You have the time, but not that much time. And this is good. This puts a little bit of pressure. And it helps us not to think too much. Just go what your intuition wants to tell you. Planting the seeds. And if we want to grow vegetables, we can plant flowers and vice versa. So what do we want to plant? What do we want to see bloom in our lives? What do we want to water all summer long so it can flourish, can grow? Mm. Yeah, take a deep breath. Thank you for being this there this morning to take this time with yourself. I wish you a great time of creation. Don't worry, you're going to see me be that I just go through image already. I cut down, I cut them, uh, a lot of them lately. So I think I'm going to just assemble today. So take your time, have fun. And if it's not finished at the end, it's no worry. You're going to have the time to finish it later on this weekend. But you started the, the garden today. We are starting the garden. So have a beautiful, creative time. Jen is going to put the music and uh, I'm going to turn my camera down uh, just to, uh, to see what you do. I'm going to cut my sound also. So yeah, enjoy. Perfect. Thank you, Melissa. Let me go get um uh... oh I am unmuted right here. Okay. Right, have fun, everybody.
So dear ones, we have about five minutes left, the creation part, okay? Thank 
Hi everybody, <laughs> welcome back. I don't know uh, for you uh, on my side, I don't, didn't have the time to glue everything. Um, but what is super interesting, uh, I'm looking at my images and it's, look, when you do collage like this, look at the results. And um, all the all the, the figures, the person I, the, that I have, they all have closed eyes and big smile. <laughs> And it's usually like that, like you do a collage and everyone's looking at right or and you, it's unconscious, you know, the choice you make it are unconscious. So it's really the intuition that's speaking. So that's so interesting to, to see and the emotions that come up also when you start the first uh, the first song. I started crying because this week was really, really hard for me. And oops, it's coming again. <laughs> And um, doing, doing like starting to, to, to choose the images reminded me that what I want to grow is the joy and the love and the laughter and the complicity. So uh, yeah, it was a good, uh, yeah, <laughs> good experience. Thank you, Melissa, for sharing. I, I'm going to do my collage um, differently, but I made a sigil today. Oh, wow. I'm into sigils, which are symbols of intention. So it started like that and then I thought oh well this one actually seems to resonate it's like a, a Dali heart maybe <laughs> some abstract thing but I appreciate that you um shared your vulnerability there right you know there are certain songs that or certain moments that just touch us while we're trying to be in flow creatively and they just have to be poured out on the page, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, it said we are going to encourage people to share in the Facebook group, right? Is that where we're going uh, next? Let me just. Oh. Yeah, that could be super interesting to all uh, take pictures of the 
the creation we made and with the intentions that we want to grow this uh, next few months. It could be super inspiring for other people to to try out the uh, the workshop if they didn't uh, attend live also. Right. That, and they'll definitely, your yours will be on replay until tomorrow. So there's time to go back later, um, depending on your time zone and watch it. We'll get those links up as soon as we're, you know, able to do all of that. But here, the, and you'll see it, uh, it's the Fierce, it's Fierce Awakened Woman in Facebook is the group. The link is below. And Melissa has a really beautiful free gift. Why don't you tell us about it? And I'll grab the link. It is not yet posted in her speaker page. It will be there later tonight, uh, for sure. So yeah, <laughs> it's uh, it's just something to help you uh, stay in touch with your intentions. So if you want to move every day, or if you want to dance every day, or if you want to create every day, it's like a little tracker, but it's in the shape of a butterfly. So you color it every day. So at the end, you have a nice colored butterfly if you do it every day. So I think it's fun to just, it's it, for me, it's more creative than just a tracker, you know, with lines and uh, columns. <laughs> Well, and I, comes I, out beautifully at the end. <laughs> I, 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 Melissa sent, sent this to me a while back, and I thought, oh, it's really quite a nice thing. It's it's a beautiful butterfly, yeah, and it's just you color it in. It's marked 1 to 30, right, or 1 to 31 or, or something, right? Yeah, depending on the month, so just write your month, <laughs> and then after that, you're good to go. Yeah, then you just color it in. So as we were talking about developing um, – and flexing and engaging your creativity muscles, this is a good way to just say, yeah, today I did my creativity practice and then check it off the list. Don't make your creativity project a check off the list thing, really. But um, you can feel accomplished when you color it in and choose what your butterfly each month is gonna look like. Yeah, it's, the, it's just a way to sustain your intentions, you know? So I don't know if you would like to share in the chat, maybe what uh, what came up for you, uh, if you did collage, if you draw, if you paint. Uh. I think we had uh, Mary she drew a heart. Beautiful. Alia, do we want to share live? Yeah. You can unmute yourself. Hey, hi, everybody. Yeah. Hold, hold on. Let me, let, if we're going to do this, I'm going to, Leia, you're okay. I'm going to spotlight you here. Spotlight me. <laughs> um, it was interesting because so this is the growing. Mm. So I wanted to stay connect connected to the feeling of ah, you know of um, of sweet joy, peace in the blooming, you know. Uh, in, in my projects, in my life. And uh, so I really enjoyed also listening to the music and it, also, it, it helps me a lot to stay connected to that feeling while I pick the colors, while I draw. And But what was interesting is that <laughs> just in the middle, I could hear some noises outside and my cat went in a fight. So <laughs> I went outside with the uh, a broom and I was like, why is this happening right now? And then I came back and I, it was not as easy to go back in the, in this feeling, but I, I believe it's a, it's a mirror of what can happen in our life to, we're always uh, eject out of our deep feeling and intention. So it's, mm. it's interesting to, and I realized that as I am sharing with you, so it's interesting. Mm, indeed. <laughs> Thank you so much for sharing. Thank you, Leah. We have time for, I think, one more share before we send Melissa into the Zoom room. We have just, just a quick announcement. We have just do my short afternoon welcome coming up. But yeah, let's stay here in this moment. Uh, Mary, I don't have my head that was a no mic on the computer itself. That's okay, Mary. Thank you for sharing in the chat. You show up however you show up today, right, Melissa? Yeah. 
any last words as we as we bring I forgot to mention yeah this my sigil is uh, joy wonder and rigor actually the words that are very close to my heart at the moment uh, mm -hmm. that's what I meant to ask you do you have yours yours isn't glued yet so we can't see yours yet You're yeah but I, I have a couple glued but not <laughs> not everything is glued like but they all have closed eyes and uh, like okay. receiving the joy. Yeah, there's a lot of joy in it. Yes, there is. And love to have love also. So this one is coming also. So <laughs> yeah, so joy, love. For me, the intentions is, would be joy, love, confidence, uh, trust. Yeah. Yeah, and, and maybe a final word is just that we always think of embodiment practices as yoga or dance or but creation like that intuitive creation like that can be a way of embodiment also because you are, you are really in the moment you are really in the present moment when you really are emerged in the creation and it connects you so deeply to things that are real and important for you that you can forget when we are in the mind so for me it helps me a lot to get out of my head and just go into my heart. Yeah. Right. I, it's such a good point, Melissa, that our we, sometimes rethinking what our embodiment practice is, is, is a first step to opening up creative expression. Right? It could be. It's just a different expression of itself. So. Yeah, and it can be in all the areas, you know, and some days you need something, you need to do your yoga practice, and some day you, you just need to create, and some day you just need to dance, and it's okay. <laughs> Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you so much, Thank you, Jen. Melissa.